Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Master channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, I'm going to cover an interesting project that in my opinion has a really really good long term, not only long term but also short term potential as well in the upcoming months to a year. And this project is called NFTX or the NFTX token, right? Again, as always, guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any of the projects we cover on our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website nftx.io in order to learn more about this project, right? But before we talk about NFTX, I want to talk to you guys about Gerard.io. Gerard.io, if you guys don't already know, it's one of the most popular centralized exchange that is known for listing low market cap gem tokens, uh, which includes tokens that have haven't even been listed yet on exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase on their platform, right? So Gerard.io is the place to find some of the lowest um, market cap gem tokens and you can buy them uh, at a really fraction of a cost right before they start pumping and the moment they get listed on Binance or Coinbase as you guys know the tokens will start pumping and this gives you an opportunity to make some really really good short term gains right and not only short term gains you can also find some really long term valuable gems through Gerata.io as well right so if you use the link in the description to set up a Gerata account what will you basically get you will basically get an option to buy cryptocurrencies any type of cryptocurrency they have a huge uh, variety of cryptocurrencies that are not really found in many exchanges so you can basically buy them for a fraction of transaction fees compared to several exchanges such as coinbase because coinbase charges extorbitant uh, fees whereas get.io charges a really really low affordable fees for transacting these cryptos right uh, apart from trading and buying cryptocurrencies you can also use their platform to earn rewards on your existing cryptocurrency so they have an if you go to their earn page uh, they have a whole host of options where you can earn uh, you know passive income from your crypto um, they basically allow you to lend cryptocurrencies they allow you to provide liquidity they also allow you to stake cryptocurrencies on their platform to earn some of the best staking yields as well right so you can basically not only buy some of the low market cap gem tokens and while you're holding it to uh, basically sell it once a Binance or Coinbase listing happens, you can use those tokens or cryptos to earn interest or uh, provide liquidity or even lend it out to get some of the best yields and earn even more crypto while you're waiting, right? So that's the earn tab for you. And apart from earn, you can also buy and sell NFTs, uh, stake your NFTs and do a lot of cool things with that with their NFT platform. So they have a dedicated NFT platform for a lot of uh, you know up and coming NFT projects including low market cap NFT projects that will pump in the future so you can access that as well. And they also have a startup section which is where some of the uh, best IEO projects that haven't even been noticed by the general public yet will be listed on uh, in Gerard.io, right? So you can use this setup page to invest in, uh, you know, pre-listed IEO projects and get your hands on some of the coolest, uh, you know, tokens uh, that will change the future uh, while they are basically at the lowest market cap possible, right? So you have a whole host of tools that you can use to earn uh, a lot of money through Gerard.io specifically, right? So uh, by using the link in the description to setting up your Gerard.io account, you won't necessarily um, just get all the information that we presented to you right now, but you'll also get a 30% trading fee rebate on any crypto trades that you make on their platform, right? So this is only applicable for people who use the link in the description because uh, it is a referral link, so you will get this benefit only through the referral link. So please use the referral link to benefit yourself. Uh, since the market is kind of moving sideways, as well as the fact that the market is still kind of down, uh, you know, we are in a bad market, you can take advantage of uh, Gerard.io to make some really, really good profits in the next bull market once uh, you know the tokens start going up, right? So uh, this is the time to take advantage of and Gerard.io is the best place to take advantage of. So by using the link in the description to sign up for a Gerard account, you're also supporting the Brutal Investor channel for which I thank you in advance. So going back to the NFTX token, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to rely on the information present on coin market cap speed first token along with the information present on the website itself. But this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? So what is NFTX? NFTX is a community-owned protocol and platform for creating non-fungible token-backed ERC-20 tokens. So this is a very important tool and one of the most powerful tool that the crypto has seen in uh, since 
the inception of uh, you know defi the reason is that if you have an nft you can't really use it for any form of liquidity uh, purposes because you basically hold an nft which you can only get value from once you sell that nft right uh, there are nft staking options where you can get value from that but that's quite limited if you ask me because staking nfts is not for all nfts and at the same time when you stake nfts the reward depends on the protocol or the value of the nft or both right so those are all some of the limitations that you have currently when it comes to getting value from your nfts right but what nftx does is that it is a platform where you can use your nfts to get erc20 tokens from them so what does that mean so if you have an NFT, xyz nft right you deposit uh, into nftx uh, where they have uh, sections called vaults you can deposit your nfts into the nft vault or even create your own nft vault for the xyz nft that you hold and you can actually set your vault to basically be the place where you can lock your nft to mint uh, corresponding xyz erc20 tokens right so these xyz erc20 tokens can have let's say 100 million tokens as a max supply or a, you know you can kind of set your own terms and you can basically derive value from these actual nfts by locking them in these vaults so that's the main uh, thing that you can uh, use to get liquidity from your NFTs and these ERC20 tokens can be provided uh, in Uniswap, SushiSwap or any centralized exchanges or even decentralized exchanges to pro get liquidity and value from or you can sell it in the open market to uh, get um, you know stable coins which will provide you with even better option to get uh, you know another NFT or even pay off your loans and so on and so forth right so you have uh, unlimited options of getting liquidity through NFTX and that's the most powerful tool in my personal opinion that's going to revolutionize the crypto space in the future because NFTs are here to stay and NFTX is trying to make it easy for people to get liquidity right so notably NFTX powers the creation and trading of funds tracking sought after NFT collectibles such as crypto kitties uh, cypherpunks uh, and others so there's a lot of NFT projects that um, are arising on a day by day basis and there are a lot of um, you know nfts that are becoming uh, blue chip nfts on a regular basis as well and these blue chip nfts uh, don't really provide value uh, as long as the person who holds it sells them right so what nftx is doing is they're allowing you to create and trade funds and at the same time uh, unlock the value from your NFTs for uh, popular cryptocurrencies, uh, NFTs such as, um, you know, CryptoKitties, Cypherpunks and multiple other tokens, right? So those are all some of the coolest things that you can uh, gain from NFTX. NFTX was launched in early January 2021 to provide an essential new service to the booming NFT sector through indexing of products. So they uh, started in January 2021 and provided an essential service uh, which is uh, relatively new as well to the booming NFT space. At that time, like January 2021, uh, NFTs were still relatively new. Um, you know, they were just at the beginning of the NFT bull market at that time. And NFTX was positioned perfectly to take advantage of that growth and thereby it started growing along with NFT uh, bull market as well, right? So uh, that's how NFTX started becoming more and more popular. Although these tokens represent index funds, they are composable and fungible, which means they are interchangeable for other tokens which distinguishes them from standard nft protocol so obviously when you lock your nft into a vault um, in nft access uh, page uh, whatever an erc20 tokens are going to mint or you're going to get from that vault will be interchangeable with your nft which means if you can provide um, you know the nft erc20 tokens back you can return or redeem your nft uh, right away in your wallet so it's a two-way process and the funny thing is that if you transfer your tokens to someone else and they want to redeem your NFT, they can do that provided they have the exact number of uh, NFT, you know, ERC20 tokens uh, that you use to mint, right? So it's a very interesting phenomenon, opens a lot of opportunities. Um, in fact, uh, this kind of creates an opportunity for popular NFT projects to be fractionalized and uh, a lot of people can buy a small portion of the NFT and still get exposure to the NFT's uh, you know, popularity as well as you know, any form of ad drops that the NFT could be getting. All those things would be literally dynamically changed thanks to NFTX, right? So that's something that uh, NFTX is offering. So if you scroll further below, you can see that these 
funds are actively traded on decentralized exchanges such as uniswap and sushi swap so this is exactly what i mentioned uh, when you get the erc20 tokens that represent your nfts you can use these erc20 tokens to provide liquidity on sushi swap or trade it on uniswap or do whatever you want with it as long as there is the uh, collateral that's backing these you know, erc20 tokens right uh, the platform's unique value proposition is to bring nfts to light to high level individuals trading funds based on leading non fungible tokens uh, like punk and axi on uniswap and other dexes so the main uh, you know value proposition that nft x is trying to put forth is um, you know gone are the days where only like you know people who are extremely wealthy and rich can own uh, can own a board ape for example right if you take the current board ape's floor price even though it's going down it's still not reachable for a lot of uh, you know crypto uh, users because uh, one board ape costs about 79 eth which is uh, several hundred thousand dollars right so that is impossible for any normal crypto user to afford but they can buy uh, you know board ape yacht clubs erc20 token by just using a 10 dollar you know uscc or usdt uh, you know stable coin right so they can own a fraction of the board ap yacht club or even mutant ap yacht club or any popular nft collection that you may you may have in mind uh, just by using the nft access platform to buy a small fraction of the token that is uh, you know representing the value of the nft so this is the value proposition that nftx is bringing to the table and this dynamically changes everything for the for the nft as well as crypto space altogether because gone are the days where only few people have uh, you know uh, access to major collections but now thanks to nftx a lot of people in fact everyone in the crypto space can ho- own a small portion of the bold ape or mutant day or any of the nf popular nft uh, collections uh, that they can think of right so that's the main uh, kicker kicker for uh, nftx so the next section talks about the founders of nftx but i'm not going to cover that section because it's not fully relevant to the purpose of video so i encourage you guys to read through that section yourself so the n- next section which is the most important section is what makes nftx unique so why would you choose to put your money on nftx instead of any other project right so i think i already covered some of the main reasons why you need to focus on nftx but here are some of the other reasons why nftx is something that you should focus on so the main business case for the uh, project is to uh, bridge the gap between decentralized finance and nfts the nftx platform supports two uh, types of funds d1 and d2 funds so uh, one of the main focus of every project in the crypto space is to bridge the gap between nft as well as defi defi and nft uh, are so different while they both are extremely high value uh, you know uh, entities that can generate new careers can generate a uh, new options or opportunities for people in the future but the fact that, the fact remains that nfts and defi are separated out and there there is no current uh, you know viable option to bridge both of them right but nftx is literally doing the same they are bridging the gap between the defi platforms as well as nft projects by creating a platform where you can use your defi uh, you know tools and techniques to uh, you know to nfts and you can also make nfts which are by default non fungible into fungible defi alternatives right so that's the main reason why you need to focus on, uh, into uh, the nftx protocol and here they mentioned that they have two types of funds d1 and d2 funds so let's go into what these two funds do right d1 funds have a 1 to 1 ratio backing involving an nft and an ethereum based erc20 contract so pretty straight forward d1 is basically where there's a 1 to 1 ratio where let's say you have 100 tokens and all the 100 tokens represent 100 nfts right so each nft is represented by one token so there's a one is to one correlation between the erc20 token as well as the nft this is straight forward and this is d1 right for example say alice o- alice owns one zombie female this allows her to re- redeem precisely one zombie fe- female at random so one zombie dash female here in this case is the token and one zombie female which is uh, not in in you know, not in the right hand side of the uh, uh, in a sentence that talks about one zombie female is the nft so the left hand side where of the sentence that says one zombie dash female is the token so you can have a token that's uh, that sticker symbol is zombie dash female and this zombie dash female re- represents one erc20 token of a zombie 
female NFT itself, right? So this is the clear example that they're giving here where there's a one to one correlation between NFT and the ERC token. On the other hand, D2 funds, also called top level funds, are balancer pools that make up the combination of uh, D1 funds. So the D2 funds are the most Im important funds, right? Because if you take Board Ape, for example, right? In this example, under D1 uh, funds, one Board Ape will be equal to one BAYC token, right? So one ERC20 token holder of BAYC technically has the right to claim one BAYC, right? And one BAYC at, at the base of the current floor price is 79 ETH. So let's say one ERC20 token is equal to uh, 79 ETH and then uh, they have the token, they can basically have the token in their wallet, provide liquidity in Uniswap and so on and so forth. And that token will be worth uh, 79 ETH because one board API club is equals 79 ETH in floor price, right? But in D2, it's more like a balancer pool, right? So what they say is that you have, um, you know, the uh, fungibility of the tokens more prominent in D2 funds where you have one board API club NFT that is backed by 100 million, uh, you know, BAYC tokens where each token represents a small share of the entire NFT, right? And in this case, people can afford to buy one token of BAYC because one BAYC token is uh, equal to a small fraction of the BAYC NFT, right? So this is the cool thing about the D2 funds that makes uh, D2 funds much more appealing and much more unique because they act like balancer pools where a combination of different D1 funds can exist, right? So to illustrate, the D2 fund AVASTR, which is called Aster, um, makes up a combination of three D1 uh, avatar funds, Avster Basic, Avster Rank 30, and Avster Rank 60, to give diverse users diversified exposure to Avster using uh, or without the need to hold and manage multiple tokens. So you get the idea basically there will be multiple tokens uh, in, the, in the fungible format that will represent one non-fungible uh, nft right arguably nftx seeks to replicate indexes like DeFi pulse or coin market cap but with an nft twist so they're trying to create um, you know with this application you can create a uh, index fund just like how DeFi pulse has an index fund token that represents all the other tokens in the DeFi space uh, NFTX is also trying to create a, a token, let's say a token called uh, NFT funds, for example, which is a index fund of all the NFTs in all the popular NFTs in the Ethereum space. They may create 100 million tokens and these 100 million tokens are actually backed by one board ape, one mutant ape, one crypto kitties, one, uh, you know, world of women NFT, one, uh, you know, doodles and so on and so forth. So these a pool of NFTs um, are locked in a vault in NFTX and they are correspondingly used to mint 100 million tokens that represents the uh, NFT, uh, kind of like NFT uh, pulse or NFT index funds, right? So that's the application that NFTX is allowing, uh, you know, the crypto space to create. As the de facto wrapped NFT funds issuer, the platform expands its use case to include the representation of items like digital lottery tickets, in-game items, digital collectibles in the form of NFTs. However, the service may, be, uh, may come with a price tag. The NFTX charges a fee of 2.5% on the burn and mint operations. So, apart from all these applications, uh, NFTX provides you with an opportunity to directly buy NFTs. Uh, you know, uh, you can sell NFTs, you can uh, kind of like create in-game collectibles, you can do whatever you want that you're doing in a typical NFT marketplace on NFTX as well. And for activities that happen on the NFTX uh, website, you have to pay a 2.5% fee for burning and minting operations, right? So that's the only kind of like unique differences that NFTX has with other marketplaces. NFTX seeks uh, growth through offering NFT ERC20 loans and on-chain liquidity. So they're trying to grow by offering uh, on-chain liquidity as well as uh, loan opportunities for the ERC20 that's created by logging NFTs, right? For the loans, NFT holders don't have to relinquish ownership, while on-chain liquidity helps curb Ill illiquidity and wash trading. So uh, 
NFTX also solves the long-term problem of wash trading, illiquidity for NFTs, as well as uh, you know providing an option for NFT holders to uh, loan out their NFTs in the form of ERC20 tokens. So these are all multiple applications that NFTX is working on, and they are trying to make it happen in the in the next iteration of their uh, you know version, right? So that's pretty much it when it comes to NFTX's platform. Uh, you guys can go through the coin market cap page to learn about the founders and learn other information as well but now let's go to the nft access page which is nftx.io so this is the page where you can access all the information you can clearly see that they have collections um different uh, collections are uh, added on a regular basis uh, you can see the trending page at the left hand side uh, here is the crypto punks which uh, is represented by the token called punk uh, and each token uh, is worth 69.33 ETH, right? So the floor price is currently 69.33 ETH and this is exactly what is represented in the CryptoPunks. So if you scroll further below, you have other collections as well like Doodles, uh, you have MeBits, you have uh, Bored Ape uh, Yacht Club and Urine Ape Yacht Club, you can clearly, clearly see here, World of Women, Other Deed, Loot, and so on and so forth. So you have pretty much all the popular collections available here. So if you go to the top right corner and search for buy, you can basically buy NFTs directly from their platform. You can buy selected NFTs by paying a 2.5% uh, fee. Uh, I think recently the, the fee has increased on their platform. So you can go through their uh, you know medium page to see what uh, is the fee increase uh, like and the percentage that you need to pay. Uh, if you click sell, you can sell your uh, NFTs to their platform directly. You can swap. This is an interesting feature because previously you, you may not be able to swap a particular NFT uh, for another NFT, but here you can swap. Let's say you have minted a, let's say, other deed, uh, you know, uh, land, right? Uh, and pre reveal you thought that your land would have, let's say, a new coda, right? But unfortunately, after reveal, it seems like you have no coda uh, and you want to uh, you know, trade it to another another other deed token uh, or another other deed uh, which has some artifacts or coders or whatever, right? You can come to NFTX, connect your wallet and swap your other deed with another other deed token, um, thereby basically getting the best other deed that you want to get. Uh, by paying a small fee, which is I think somewhere between 2.5 to 5 percent, uh, which is the cost that you'd be paying uh, in order to get the privilege of uh, trading to a known NFT that you want, right? So pre-reveal is uh, the most riskiest portion because when you are having an NFT that is pre-revealed, uh, you don't really know what you're going to get. It's kind of like a lottery system, but thanks to NFTX, you can basically swap your after-revealed or post-revealed NFT to another post-revealed NFT of your choice based on what's available, on, uh, what liquidity is available on their protocol, right? Uh, you can earn rewards as well. They have a new app that's currently live so you can click to the newer version in order to see the rewards uh, you can create your own vault this is where the vault comes in you can create one of the d1 or d2 walls depending on how, how you want your vault to be the coins wise you can see some of the coins that they have is uh, the punk coin represents crypto punks uh, milady uh, represents milady maker uh, sqgl represents chromi squiggles and so on and so forth you can see the liquidity as well as the total items that are available uh, total value locked as well as trading buying and trade uh, selling tokens in sushi swap so you can click on buy punk you can actually buy a small fraction of a punk token um, uh, sorry, small fraction of the crypto punk uh, by going to sushi swap and uh, you know trading your USDC or USDT or ETH for punks, right? And now by holding on to this punk, you're actually holding on to a small portion of punk, and you're getting exposure to the price action the crypto punks will get, right? So that's how this works. When you click on activity, you can see the recent activities that's happened. Uh, currently, you can see you know the trading fees as well as the token that has been traded and the token, the vault that has been created and so on and so forth. So this is a very robust tool that provides you a lot of versatility when it comes to your NFTs, right? So now that we covered this one, let's go to the CoinMarketCap page itself uh, to go through some of the important information about tokenomics. So this token is currently ranked 719th by MarketCap and CoinMarketCap and it's currently trading at $29.58 at the time I'm making this video, right? Obviously, the sticker price seems to be quite high. This is because of the fact that the tokenomics of this token is very high, uh, sorry, very good. And that's one of the reasons why the sticker price is quite high. So if you see the token, despite all the positives that we've uh, discussed right now, it's still trading um, 
you know at a negative territory only slightly down though uh, it's still down 0.33% in the past 24 hours so we're talking this kind of like in the uh, in a negative phase but even though it's not uh you know negative you know 1 to 10% it's still negative 0.33% which is still something that you can uh, see if you want to buy this token at this price point right when it comes to the um the token contract you can clearly see that the the project is on the ethereum blockchain and therefore you can see the erc 20 token uh, contract by clicking on the coin market cap page here the market cap is extremely small so this is one of the reasons why i'm telling you that this is a very undervalued project that has a huge potential not only in the short term but also in the long term the market cap is only 12.3 million dollars which is incredibly undervalued if you ask me and if you see the volume is also quite low uh, 101000 dollars in the past 24 hours it's quite low in volume but if you look at the supply the token has uh, literally no max supply as of now but i think they have a max supply of about uh, 1 uh, you know uh, 1 million tokens and the total supply is 650000 tokens so it's definitely a scarce token where there's a lot of um, opportunities for scarcity based price pump and the circulating supply is only 416000 uh, tokens right so out of the uh, total supply of uh, 650 tokens 416 tokens uh, 416000 tokens are already in circulation uh, and it's uh, close to 50% compared to its max supply right so it seems like the token uh, tokenomics is quite strong and that's one of the reasons why the sticker price is quite high even though the sticker pri- sticker price is quite um, high the market cap of this tokenomics suggests that this token can pump extremely hard you once a uh, small group of investors uh, you know try to invest a few uh, thousand dollars it, it seems like this token is probably going to be invested by coin uh, coinbase ventures because uh, there's a lot of rumors are speculating that uh, coinbase ventures and a couple of other big venture capitalists are going to be investing in this project so if a small group of investors like that invest a decent amount of money the market cap is going to pump and thereby the sticker price of this token as well will pump in the future as well right so that's one of the reasons why i want to cover this token to you to you guys so that you can have enough time to do your own research before you buy this product right so when it comes to the price itself you can clearly see that despite being a really good uh, project this product is in the uh, in the all time low territory right now if if you see this token at the bottom right corner it's uh, at its all time low it used to do pretty well and at the same time it had a lot of uh, previous short term pumps and dumps which indicates that this is a really good short term project right it's a very predictable token to uh, you know make a lot of short term gains in and that's also one of the main ways you can make some pumps and dump advantages of this token right so if you take a look at the price it was worth $29.02 um as of uh, 5th of january 2021 and then it immediately started going ballistic reaching its all time current all time highs of $446.86 so you can clearly see that if you're buying this token at this price point you're buying it from a significant discounted price of um, $440 and this all time high was reached uh, 14th of february 2021 it crashed down was quite volatile it crashed uh, by making a bouncy pattern went down and then went up and then went down it reached a relative lows of about uh, $39.10 as of 24th of uh, june 2021 and then went back up down was kind of like bouncing up and down making predictable short term gains and then it kind of crashed uh, you know 18th of uh, in june 2022 was when it crashed severely reaching a price of $25.86 and then it kind of was moving slightly up and moving towards the sideways action uh, reaching a price of uh, $29 as of now right so it seems like the all time lows was at $25 you are still close to the all time lows if you buy this token right now the token is down if you see as we speak the token went down 1.22% in the past 24 hours so the token is going to continue moving sideways for a bit before it starts pumping as i said there's a lot of rumors uh, on twitter that this token is going to get uh, this product is going to get a investment from coinbase ventures as well as several other uh, popular venture capitalists um, so it is definitely possible that this token could get a coinbase listing uh, so that's why another reason so i want to present this token to you guys earlier at the same time if you're trying to buy this token uh, and all this rumor starts becoming confirmed that it's true a lot of people are going to start buying this token which will pump the price of the token high and uh, if you need to get ahead of everyone you need to make sure that you buy it uh, right before everybody else right so uh, this is the best time to buy this token if you ask me again uh, i would probably say that if you are trying to buy this token uh, a little bit later on 
uh, you probably won't get a hold of this token after maybe $50 per token because once this token starts pumping, it will start moving really soon and quickly that you won't have a lot of opportunities to enter, right? So buying this below the $30 mark will be the best uh, opportunity in my personal opinion, even though it's not financial advice. So when it comes to the locations where you can buy this token from, you can buy this token from, uh, you know, the only place you can buy this token from is Geratio, which is the only reliable centralized exchange where I can recommend that you buy this token from. Uh, there is another exchange called AEX as is listed here. I have never used this exchange before, but if you know someone or if you have used this exchange uh, before to buy tokens, then by all means go ahead. But I feel like Gennet.io is the best place to buy this token from and you have a lot of uh, liquidity and uh, trading volume from Gennet.io. One other place where you can buy this uh, token from is through SushiSwap, but you need to bear in mind that it's only available on the Ethereum blockchain and therefore you'll be paying extremely high gas fees to buy this token from, right? You can either buy this token from Geratio or on SushiSwap, but regardless of where you buy, there's also a short-term arbitrage opportunity that you can take advantage of. Let's say, for example, you can buy this token using wrapped Ethereum from SushiSwap at $28.21, and you can sell it at Geratio um, for $29.05, right? But if you know you can use AEX exchange, you can actually sell it for an even higher profit by selling it at $29.67. Uh, by buying it from SushiSwap and selling it at AEX, right? So these are some of the short-term, uh, you know, arbitrage opportunities that you can use to make some quick bucks from this token as well, right? So what's my final verdict on this token, guys? I think this token has an incredibly strong fundamental uh, where it's providing an opportunity for NFT holders to get as much value from their NFTs in a fungible tokenized manner. Uh, there's also opportunities for people to buy projects like Bold Ape, Mutant Ape, and several other popular NFT projects by holding a tokenized version of B, uh, BOYC and MAYC tokens um, from NFTX, thereby holding on to them. And when Bold Ape and Mutant Ape start pumping, you will still get the price action pump, uh, pumping exposure by holding on to a fraction of this. Uh, ecosystem right through the ERC20 tokens so that's something that NFTX is providing as well which is definitely going to revolutionize the future which is one of the reasons why I feel like a lot of centralized exchanges are going to list this token pretty soon so if you look this uh, look at this video and if you're buying this token maybe once uh, this token has pumped to maybe 100 to 150 dollars per token you can leave a comment coming back here saying that this is the first place you saw this token right I think when it comes to short-term price prediction, this token has a lot of potential to get a Coinbase and a Binance listing. So I can easily say that uh, this token will pump as high as $50 to $70 per token, depending on how soon they list this token. Uh, if you are in a bear market, I think the, the token price is more likely going to be $50 per token once a Coinbase or Binance listing happens. But if you are in the bull market, this token will probably go as high as $100 per token, if you are lucky. And this is probably going to happen in the next six, to, six months to one year from now, right? The long-term price action, which is three to five years from now, I think this token has a high potential to cross $500 to $600 per token. So if you're buying this token at this price point, and if you sell it at $600 per token in the future, you're going to make some really, really good gains, and you can thank me later for that in the future, right? So again, this is just my pers personal opinion, guys, not financial advice. Please do your own research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? Again, remember, guys, you guys are not regular investors. You guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.